Hey everyone, because you guys love robotics enabled sports, I wanted to show you something super cool I just discovered. A lot of you already watch BattleBots and Drone Racing League, but here's one more thing to keep on your radar. It's called V Rotors. V Rotors is an esports league and technology platform that connects remote pilots over the internet with drones that are actually flying in the real world and provides an augmented reality overlay. That means pilots from all over the world can log into a drone on one of many remote courses around LA, and they can race with real-time video and instrumentation on their computer or VR headset back home in Michigan or wherever. I met the CEO, Neil, back when we did an appearance with Iron Glory at San Diego Comic-Con, and he has since started this company. Now, many of you guys and us at Megabots talked a lot about how we would one day be able to integrate remote piloting with a VR headset into the robots, and there would be all kinds of cool augmented reality displays on top of the robots as fans would watch the robots battle. You could see the engine temperatures, hydraulic oil pressure, and pilot's heartbeat and stuff overlaid in real time. We never really got around to doing that because we were so focused on just making the robots in the first place. Well, Neil has actually built out some of this technology for V rotors, and it's super cool to see some of the concepts we only talked about at Megabots actually get built. In fact, V rotors is partnered with the University of Illinois and Duke University to compete in the $10 million ANA Avatar X Prize. The ANA Avatar X Prize is a $10 million competition that challenges teams to develop a physical robotic avatar system that can transport your senses, actions, and presence to a remote location in real time and feel as if you're actually there. So they're pretty serious about pushing the envelope in telepresence technology. Now, I actually got a chance to race a drone, and I want to show you what their proof of concept looks like so far. It's definitely a cool experience, and it was pretty nuts to see actual people driving their cars along the highways down below. The traffic you down there too. Yeah. That's place. our LA traffic. Oh, that's so bad. Saturday is not bad traffic. It looks like these, these people are not quarantining. And because this is a real drone being remotely controlled, some very unexpected things can happen. For example, my drone was attacked by a swarm of angry bees, which I found very exciting. There's so many bees. Bees are coming back. We got bees again. Oh, this is crazy. The I have never hasn't. seen that. They're before. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bees. god. Not the bears. Ah! <laughs> I've never seen that. Now this is still just an early prototype. There's still a little bit of lag. The AR graphics are pretty basic and some of the gameplay mechanics are a little awkward. But what excites me is the potential for this technology to enable a new type of mixed reality esports. All of those things I mentioned will get better with time. Remember our first prototype robot, the Mark I, and how far we got just three years later with Eagle Prime? V Rotors just launched an equity crowdfunding campaign, and you all now have the opportunity to own a part of this company and technology. This is something I sort of wish we did with Megabots earlier on. Now I want to be totally honest, I am not claiming this will be a good investment. If you decide you want to be part of this, you should only invest money you're okay with losing. In fact, most startups fail. Megabots was one of them. But if you want to support cool new tech that has the potential to turn into something really awesome, this is a fun way of doing it. And after all, it's more fun to watch a horse race when you got some money on the table. I invested a little bit just because it's fun to tell your friends you own a piece of an esports league when you're at a party, and it's a fun conversation topic. Anyways, I wanted to share this because I thought it was super cool. These guys are building some of the tech we only talked about at Megabots. Neil's a good guy, and I wanted to help him out, and it's probably something you're all interested in. You can follow the link down below, check it out yourself, and post in the comments. Let me know what you think. All right, till next time.